So one thing we've tried to do in the last couple of updates of MacSurf is improve the rotation of the model in the 3D view. In 2303 we improved the trackball and so you can use shift middle mouse to rotate the model about the trackball. And you may notice there you can see an icon appearing in the middle of the model and that's actually the model rotation point that's being used. And that's something we've added in 2304. It's also visible when you use the sliders to rotate. In earlier versions of MacSurf, one of the problems was is if you zoomed in on, say, the bulbous bow and then rotated the model, the portion that you'd zoomed in on often moved off the screen. So one thing we've done in this latest version is add an option to keep the rotation center near the middle of the screen. You can turn this option on here with the Auto Rotate Center option we can use control zero. And what will happen now is any time I pan the model, the rotation center will be approximately the center of the screen projected onto the centerline plane of the model and constrained to be within the model bounding box. So now if I rotate, you'll see the rotation center has moved to near the bow of the vessel and so this part of the vessel stays on the screen and you can really zoom in and look at the part of the model that you're interested in. So a couple of other features that you may not be aware of that were added in 2303 um, are to do with the sliders and so normally you just click on the slider and you can drag it if you double click on the slider um, thumb, it will snap to the nearest 15 degrees. So you can see if I move it a little bit, I can snap it back to 15 degrees. Another feature you might find useful is if you shift double click, it will actually move to zero. So you can actually align your model to zero rotations. Or if you wanted 90 degrees, you can drag it near the 90 and double click it and it will move to exactly 90. Another thing that we added is control over the perspective field of view. And again, if you go to the view menu, we've got a perspective settings um, options here. And you can see at the moment, I've actually got the perspective camera angle or the field of view set to zero, which means it's um, an isometric view when lined up like this, so you can see this looks not like a normal profile view. If I change it to 20 degrees, which was the de default, you will see it looks, you can see a bit of perspective coming in, and you can accentuate that if you prefer. So you can set it up as however you like. And of course, all these features work in the line drawing mode or in the rendered view. Okay, well, I hope you find those features useful. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.